All right, this is video three. So you're going to see over here this big old thing of fluff. This has all been carded with that 10% fen sheep and then the 90% wool, uh, or uh, angora. Um, and so as you can see, it's light and fluffy. And as I spin this, there's going to be fluff everywhere. It's great. So I'm just going to reach in here. I've already ca I've carded it twice through. Now, if you have a, a regular carding machine, it would come out in this really more neat looking bat. But um, I ended up just with a bunch of this fluff. So I'm fixing to spin, and what I'm gonna do is, it's been carded together, so I'm just gonna try to get it somewhat organized. I actually like to grab tufts of that, and I may do that a little later. Um, and I'm gonna put this on here and fill this up really good. But sometimes I'll just grab tufts of that and spin it, and you get this really, really woo, um, fuzzy, wuzzy yarn, super fun to spin that way. But I'm trying to show a technique here, so I've got to, I've got to be technique-y. All right, and then I'm going to kind of just brush this just a little bit. See how I'm just kind of getting it in order, and then I'm going to go through. And one last carding, it looks like this. And then I'm going to roll this up like this, and I'm going to start to roll. I'm kind of making a roll log. Now, they have these great roll log boards that you can get. They're a little bit spendy, so this is just, this is not as pretty, but it kind of gets it in order. Because I am dealing with two different lengths of fiber. Woo. All right, so I have kind of long legs, and I'm trying to gonna do some spinning here where you guys can see what I'm doing, but it's my knee is close to here, so it's gonna be a little awkward for me. Hopefully smooth. So I'm just going to take a little piece of this, put it through my little loop there, and I'm just going to start spinning like this, and I've got that tension way too tight. There we go, because I want to get a lot of twist in there. See how it's kind of that twist? The twist is coming from the orifice right here, and then I'm letting it go down into, and this is kind of thin right here. We're not going to be spinning this thin. This would be end up being a fingering weight. Now this is also going to be a single ply, um, which means that once I get it off here, I'm going to wash it and hang it, and then I'm going to use it from that point. I'm not going to come back with a second yarn and, and ply them together. That's another video. So now that I've got a good start, I'm just going to kind of start building up the length, the not the length, the uh, size of yarn that I want. And I'm letting that twist come through. Now this is gonna be a lumpy, bumpy, very fuzzy type of a yarn. If you're wanting a very smooth yarn, you're gonna to wanna to cart it really, really good. This is just me playing. This is what I like to do when I'm on my day off. Um, and all I'm doing is allowing this yarn to, this, this fiber, to come through my fingers right there. That twist, I'm not letting, if you look, I can do this, the twist stops right there and then my fingers, and this is where the um, raw wool is. Now with Angora, even if it's 10% wool in it, it is so fine um, and slippery that I do overspin it a little bit. As I knit or crochet or even weave with it, some of that spin will just naturally come out. But I do overspin it a little bit. You do not have to do that with regular wool but it is very slippery. So I find that that holds that yarn in because I want the ends of my fiber, I want my ends to spring forward to give me that halo on my wool. So I need it really tightly spun in that center of that fiber in order to keep it from shedding. Okay. And then now that you see how I like to do it, I'll just grab little pieces of this and then I kind of just Now this is the long way to do it. If you have a carter that does, you know, two ounce bads at a time, goes a little bit faster as far as the carding. And then of course I hand carded that. I'm gonna move my now, um, 
So I am getting a thick thin because I'm letting this be natural. At some point I will do and show you how to card and how to spin if you want a consistent yarn. I like the thick thins. If you look at my hat, to me it's more interesting. If I wanted a store-bought yarn, I would go buy a store-bought yarn. But it's kind of like quilting. Um, when you quilt something yourself, you can have it look like it, you know, came from a machine. Um, even though I do obviously quilt on a machine as well as by hand. But I like that. I want it to be really good, the best that I can do. But I kind of like that homemade look. Um, homemade gets a kind of a bad rap. But the homemade look is a really great look when you do a good job. Um, it's like it has love in it. I know that sounds kind of weird, but when someone gives me something that they've made and I can tell it's a little bit homemade, I'm like, this came from them. This came from their time and effort. But um, regardless, it's after, oh, it's six minutes. So I'm going to continue spinning this way. And then when I get to the end of this, um, I'll show you what we do next on video four. All right, here we go.